Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new multi-tool, a four-in-one tool from Wild Badger Power that we're gonna be checking out. Now this thing is basically your weed eater setup, but it has a couple of other attachments to it that we're super excited to use. We use a push weed eater around the property and it does a pretty good job of cutting a lot at one time. What we don't have is a tool that will take out all of the brush that you can see behind me. We have this really thick brush that's here and it grows like crazy and it is taking up a very large portion of our property. Now in other places where I've, able to, I've been able to get my tractor through and use the brush mower on the back to knock it all down, we've had beautiful grass grow up. So what we're wanting to do is now penetrate these areas where I cannot get the tractor into and hopefully this tool is going to get the job done. If you're new to the channel guys, hit that subscribe button, stick around. Let me show you this product really quick and then we're gonna just start putting it to work and I'll give you two, two issues with what's going on today. One, it is just so hot out here. It's 90 some degrees and we are basically doing this at about noon for some terrible reason. Two, there has been a ton of black hornets on the property this year, a boom, if you will. Um, I've been stung multiple times. Deegan has been stung multiple times as well. And it's because they're out and in these, these trees in different areas. And as you're going and you're doing stuff, all of a sudden they attack you. Uh, this has not been a problem in the last few years on this property, but this year they are all over the place. We've been finding their nests everywhere. So problematic, yes. Entertaining for you guys, possibly. So as we get to pushing back through here, we're gonna clear out this area. You're basically looking at about a, a five acre parcel back behind me that needs to get cleared out because you can only see about 20 to 30 yards in any one given place. So we're gonna go through here, clear out a huge chunk, try to avoid the black bees the best we can uh, and just really beautify the property. Weed Whacker Head has the Weed Whacker Head. If you're interested in the tool, guys, we'll stick a link in the description below. Go ahead and check that thing out. But Weed Whacker Head, if you need a Weed Whacker, it's got this. We're not gonna use this that much. This is not why I got this product. Why I got this product is the bush blade. This big old blade right here is why we've got it. Now you can see it's, uh, it's about a 16th inch thick. Uh, strong steel metal. We have used it just a little bit on some light grass to make sure that we're kind of getting that break in period in, but nothing big like this stuff right here. So it's going to be the first time uh, that we see if it can even handle this thick of brush. But hopefully we just torture test this dude right here and we see what it can take, how much it can take. This is a 26cc engine. It's not super big. Um, they actually have one that is a 52cc head, I believe. Um, so a little bit more power. I can tell you from just being a man, um, I would definitely take more power on this thing anyway when I was uh, over testing it on some grass. Um, of course, that's just me wanting to just rip off and buzzsaw everything with as much power, recoil, and kickback as I can possibly uh, get away with safely, semi-safely. So all of these heads attach uh, right up here up top. It's got a push button that locks in. It's got a drive shaft that's coming through these and spinning. Um, so these attachments just shift right into the main uh, power drive. Also comes with a chainsaw blade. Now I've tested this out as well. I had a couple things that Shelby wanted moved out of the way, so we went and tried it. If you are a guy who has used chainsaws quite a bit, this will not get you too excited. You're not going to be super thrilled with the ability and power of it. But if you have stuff high that you usually can't reach with the chainsaw, but you want to be able to get out there and get extended and nip stuff, well, then this thing might be your baby. It definitely does uh, really small stuff. Um, I went through a couple of trees that were about uh, three inches or so, um, and it made it through it. It just continued to get bound up. You got to be really slow and patient, which who wants to do that when they're running a, a chainsaw apparati? The fourth and final attachment, guys, is this hedger head, which we will not be using probably ever. Um, I have absolutely no need for this hedger head. We don't make the bushes look beautiful. We just blow them apart uh, and remove them from the ground. So uh, handy to have, sure. Maybe, maybe in the future, maybe for one of you who has uh, lawn maintenance, you've got landscape that you want to brush up and make look pretty. Um, not for me, we'll probably not be using this, but these, uh, these heads pivot on them, which is cool. The chainsaw does this as well. So you've got a, you've got just a locking mechanism and you basically have the ability to turn, uh, less than 180 degrees, but pretty close. 
So here's your main drive, guys. Uh, as you can see, your, your, your standard weed eater setup. There's a couple different configurations on the website. You can get some that might be a little bit more ergonomic for you. This also comes with a little harness, just a cheap little harness uh, that helps you to not have to carry the weight. It's like a four strap, four point harness. So you can really uh, work this thing throughout the day without getting too fatigued in your arms. As you can see, we got her juiced up. We're gonna, we're gonna put this thing to work, guys. There's an overview of the product really quick. Now let's get into what matters. Will this thing hold up? Will it actually get the job done for us? Let's go destroy some bush. Safety first, ear pro, eye pro, let's go. All right guys, so we've been at it for about uh, about 10 minutes now. It's hot out here, it's super hot. We've only gone through about, oh, maybe a little more than half of the little fuel tank there. <clears throat> it's definitely doing a good job. You can see behind me how much of this stuff it's, it's beaten up pretty good, but it's dying. So it's it's not running for me. Um, and it could be the heat, so I'll let it cool down for a little bit. I'm also going to top off the fuel. Maybe that it has an issue once it's kind of low. Um, it's doing a pretty good job clearing this stuff out. This stuff is thick. I don't. You guys might be able to tell, but basically, once I walk back in there, I could walk back in there and get to a point where it's up and over my head. This stuff is very thick, very tall brush. So it is a tall order for a tool, um, a, a smaller power tool like this, but. Should be able to keep running, so I'm wondering if it's maybe the heat, maybe the fact that it's new, or I might need to put a little more fuel in it. So I'm going to top off the fuel, let it rest for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to go grab myself some water. Like I said, it's 90-some degrees out. I'm already sweating. So uh, we'll give it a little rest, and then we'll come back and see if we can continue to punch our way through this. All right, guys, we've let it cool down for about 10 minutes. We've also topped her off with fuel tank's completely full so we're gonna try and crank her again it could just be the heat and we might have to come back later this evening once it's cooling down a bit and really uh run through this stuff early morning late afternoons to get this done because like i said this is about five acres worth of of land up here that needs all of this brush cleared out of it so there's a lot of work to be done so we're hoping that this tool gets it done because it's too small for a chainsaw and it's too big for a weed eater this tool i'm hoping um, is going to be perfect, but it needs to run. Well, I guess it doesn't run when it's 90 degrees out. So we'll come back this evening and uh, fire it up once it's dropped 15 degrees or so. See if it's just, just cool enough. Hopefully it's just the heat. I would hate to think that uh, 20 minutes of use, 10 minutes of use is the lifespan of this thing. So um, guys, we will come back later this evening. All right, it is eight o'clock at night and it is quite a bit cooler, a good, good 15 degrees anyway. So. We're gonna get at it again, uh, see if we can start this thing and then knock down as much as we can, basically before the sun goes down. <laughs> All right guys, you can see behind me, we are, uh, we're killing it. So doing an excellent job out here, getting a bunch of stuff done. This thing is running. We've, we've put about another 30 minutes on it. Um, and we're getting a lot of this stuff chopped down. So it was definitely the heat that was stopping it from running earlier. Check this out. 
this is a much bigger problem than I realized. <clears throat> I got to chopping my way through here. And this stuff is like, it's a, literally a wall of brush. And it's about as far as you can see. I mean, it's a wall. I'm beating the crap out of this. Uh, making pass after pass after pass after pass before the stuff is finally falling down. This is a much, much bigger project uh, than I realized. I knew it was thick in here, but I didn't think it was this thick. Uh, as far back as you can see, you know, we got to clear that out. That's the, that's the goal is to get this stuff cleared out. And one of the things we'll do is after we're clear on this stuff to where we can physically walk back here, you've got some of these bigger, uh, bigger, bigger little trees that that brush, the brush blade won't take out. So what we'll do is we'll put that little chainsaw blade on uh, and then come back through and start whacking away at all this bigger stuff. It does a pretty good job of knocking down some, some fairly big, like one inch size trees, which is pretty good for a brush cutter. Um, but, but we've been knocking this stuff down, but there's just so many layers of little stuff, big stuff, really big stuff back here. So this is gonna be one heck of a project to clear this thing out. Eventually we're gonna stand right here and you're gonna see a field. But for right now you see wall of green. But this little dude is doing pretty good. This Badger Power, four-in-one multi-tool is is doing pretty good that's it for this video guys we're gonna go ahead and uh, pack it up for the night i'll show you guys more progress in later videos so if that's something you want to see hit that subscribe button stick around hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and guys we will catch you on the next one